like a bell cut. How's it going everybody? It's not so anonymous and today I am back with a brand new video. So what you're seeing right here is actually a review of the Turn 10 Select Car Pack. Now I had no idea that this car pack would come into Forge Motorsport 6. And it's because they do release these car packs on the first Tuesday e each month. And that was a week ago and I didn't know that they would actually release it on the second Tuesday which is right now. So this is Tuesday and hopefully I can get it out on this Tuesday just because I want to give you guys a little bit of this review. And I have to say this car pack is looking really nice I have to say. So let's just get into it. So first on the list is the 1957 BMW Isetta 300 Export. I think I've seen this car on Top Gear when they reviewed this car. Just going around, I think Jeremy Clarkson was in this car just driving around the city. It looked really cool and it is a three-wheeler, which is super nice. Probably the first three-wheeler inside of Forge Motorsport 6. And the door is actually right on in the front, which is really awesome. It makes, I think, 13 horsepower, which is crazy. And 920 pounds, uh, just 920 pounds exactly, which is really awesome. But next on the list is the Chevrolet number no. four Roll Motorsport RML Cruise TC1 WTCC. That's a long name, but it's pretty much like a Chevy Cruise race car, which is looking really nice. I do not know much about this car, but it looks really cool to drive. But next on the list is the 1980 Fiat 124 Sport Spider. It looks like a really cool car. Uh, I know probably people have been wanting this car just because it does look really nice of a classic car. It makes 102 horsepower and weighs 2,300 pounds and 10 pounds, which is really nice. But next on the list is the Brawner Hawk, th uh, I think number three. It, it is a Ford, and it looks awesome. Like, we've got some Mercedes and some Hondas looking just like this. I bet you can do a kind of like a, a jump with this car just because of how slanted it looks, and you can probably get on the wheels. It looks really cool, I have to say. But next on the list is a 2014 Jaguar number 14 ML Frey GT3 Jaguar XK. So it is pretty much the XK Jaguar of a race car. It is number 14, and it looks pretty cool, I have to say. But next up on the list is the 2015 McLaren 570S Coupe. I really wanted this car in this game just because we can compete with some other cars, maybe like some 911s and stuff like 911 Turbo S, which is pretty much the same boat as this car. And I just really like this car in general. I've actually seen it at Pinehurst, which is bright orange. It's really nice. Actually, a guy from Washington but came down to Pinehurst actually let me sit in it, which is really nice of him. So kudos to him for doing that. And But next on the list, probably one of my favorite cars, and Ford's are probably going to be to date, is the 2015 Mercedes-Benz number 24 Tank Pool 24 racing truck. Yes, you heard that right. It is a racing truck. It's not just any truck. It weighs 1,200 pounds or 12,000 pounds. It has a ridiculous 3,600 pound feet of torque and 1,080 horsepower. This truck is just absolutely ridiculous, guys. I can't wait to do it. I've actually seen some videos of it or some streams, and you can put a humongous, like the most gigantic wing I've ever seen on Forza. And it can go up to like 1,180 something horsepower. It's absolutely ridiculous and I can't wait to give you guys some of this video or some of this review of this car. Just because of how cool it looks and just how ridiculous it is in general. But anyways guys, that was the end of the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. This was just a quick review of the new Select Car Pack. But I just want to give you guys a little bit of review so you can know what these cars are if you do want to buy it. It is $6.99 or $7.00. I am definitely picking this car pack up just because it is so cool. But drop a like if you enjoyed, and until next time, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.